everyone and welcome back to Midnight Theories. And if you're new here, welcome to Midnight Theories. Today we are going to talk about some of my favorite promising groups that disbanded way too soon before ever showing their full potential. Hundreds of girl groups come and go, and the ARC was one of those groups. The ARC consisted of five talented young girls under Music K Entertainment. The group debuted in 2015 with their emotionally charged song, The Light. The song did not do as well as the company had hoped, but that didn't mean they didn't get any attention. The music video storyline and song received plenty of good reviews, and people felt connected to the story for the unsaid connection to the Soul Fairy incident that happened almost a year prior. The ARC gained most of their fan base through busking events and boy group covers. BTS even reacted to their cover of Boy in Love. The group grew a large international fan base, and fans were excited to see more from the group. Unfortunately, after a few months of promotions, Yujin, the main vocalist, developed vocal cord nodules. This led her to leave the group, and without a main vocalist, the company was forced to find a new vocalist, but they ran into other difficulties which led them to disbandment. The members were as close as ever, and when they became aware of the news of their disbandment, they were in disbelief but understood that the decision was out of their power. Two of their members, Una and Minju, left Music K and signed with Maro Entertainment. They debuted as a duo under the name Khan in 2018. The group released their only single, I'm Your Girl, and were radio silent after promotions. It was later revealed by Una that the group had silently disbanded after the company screwed over the group. Yujin, the main vocalist, is currently a solo singer and recently participated on the show, Miss Back, where the show gave female idols a second shot to be in the spotlight. Suji participated on the show The Unit and debuted in the show's project group Unity and promoted as a member for a few months after disbanding. She's currently on the path to pursuing her acting career and still thinks very fondly of her former group and recently made a post on Instagram reminiscing about her time as a member and experience. Jane is still dabbling in music and you can support her YouTube channel, Generous, and her Instagram here. X1 was a boy group that was formed under the survival show Produce X101. The group was made up of 11 members with varying experiences, having members who already debuted mixed in with members who are still trainees under their respective companies. According to the program, each member won a spot in the final lineup by the votes of viewers. X1 made their debut on August 27, 2019 with their title track, Flash. Fresh. The group was set to promote for 5 years, which would be the longest promoting group to come out of the Produce series. The first half was meant for them to focus solely on the group, and the second half, they would have been able to do work within their companies, such as debuting as a solo artist, or a member of a new group, or returning to resume work with the former group. Prior to X1's debut, the audience had suspicion of voting manipulation due to the lineup. An investigation ensued with the sole cybercrime investigation team, and with heavy evidence, it was proven that the final lineup and previous seasons were manipulated. During the investigation, the group struggled to perform on music shows and keep brand deals unlike their predecessors. They later had to go on an indefinite hiatus till the situation was fully sorted. The group ended up disbanding on January 6, 2020, with less than five months of promotions. A protest ensued shortly after the announcement, and desperate fans pleading to keep the group together, but to no avail, the protest did not change the outcome. November 18, 2020, producer An Jun Young and Kim Young Bum were charged with fraud. An Jun Young was sentenced to two years in prison with a fine of 37 million won, while Kim Young Bum was sentenced to one year and eight months. Neon Punch was a five-member girl group under A100 Entertainment. The group debuted in June of 2018 with their single Moonlight. Just months into their debut, the girls were put under a hidden camera prank by their company, making them believe that they would disband because the group was unsuccessful and they would once again be put under the training system. Naturally, the girls were heartbroken by the news, but it was soon revealed after that it was just a prank. The prank went viral and the girls got some attention from it. In January of 2019, Neon Punch's member Terry left the group due to health reasons, and the group shortly made their first comeback with their song TikTok with their new member Dohi. Unfortunately, being under a small company, the group disbanded August 11th of 2020. 
due to financial hardships because of the pandemic. Unexpectedly though, A100 debuted their new girl group Shum, which consisted of three former members of Neon Punch. The group debuted with their high production MV on September 22, 2020. Spectrum was a seven-member boy group under Wind Entertainment. The boys officially debuted on May 10, 2018 with their title track, Light It Up. <laughs> Devastating news hit the K-pop scene on July 27, 2018. Member Dong Yoon unfortunately passed away. This was a hard hit for fans and especially the group. On September 5th, 2018, the group released their song, Dear Mai, which paid tribute to Dong Yoon. The group went on to have several successful comebacks and steadily gained popularity. Unfortunately, Spectrum is yet another group that was affected by the pandemic, disbanding on January 10th, 2020, due to the company's difficult financial struggles. Kristen and Hinapia are like a two-for-one, but before we can talk about Hinapia, we must first dive into the story of Kristen. Kristen was a 10-member girl group under Pletus Entertainment. Most of the members participated on the show Produce 101. Before their debut, two of their members, Nayoung and Korkyung, winning spots in the show's final lineup for IOY, gaining attention for their future group. Kristen officially debuted March 21st, 2017 with their song, Woo. <laughs> caught many eyes of potential fans and were pretty popular from the beginning, and Kristen were in high demand. The group had their first comeback with just months since their debut with their song, We Like. Unfortunately for the group, We Like wasn't as successful as their debut track, and the girls went on an almost a year hiatus before Pletus tested the waters with the subunit, releasing the song Get It under the unit Kristen V in May of 2018. Again, the single didn't do as well because the numbers weren't as Pletus predicted and other matters behind the scenes. Kristen met their disbandment in 2019. This news was a big hit to the fan base. The fans were upset that the company was neglecting the group and now terminating them after two years of activities. Furthermore, Pletus announced that three out of the ten members, Kol Kyung, Yehana, and Song Yoon, would stay under the label. The rest of the members ended their contracts with Pletus and went their separate ways with still staying in the entertainment industry. Roa, Yunha, Unwu, and Rena surprised the public and their former fandom by signing together under OSR Entertainment and re-debuted as Hinapia in November 3, 2019 with their single Drip. The group was composed of four of the former Kristen members, but as well as a newly added member, Bada, making them a five-member group. The quintet held a showcase to promote their album and further promote it on music shows. Their album, titled New Start, did not do as well as predicted. For a group that was well anticipated and flooded all over social media, the numbers just weren't there. Their new company did plan to have a comeback for the girls in March of 2020, and even news sites were reporting on it. However, due to the current situation of the world, their comeback was announced to be postponed. On August 21st, 2020, it was announced that OSR Entertainment had disbanded Hinapia and terminated their contracts. One Team was a five-member boy group under Liveworks Company. The group officially debuted in March 27 with their catchy song, Vibe. One team had two more comebacks within the same year and steadily gained popularity. In January of 2020, there was an announcement made that the group would be holding their first ever US tour, but was shortly cancelled because the pandemic worsened. On March 10th, 2021, Liveworks announced through their fan cafe that the group was confirmed to be disbanding after the final group activities on March 14th. 7 O'Clock was originally formed as a six-member boy group under Star Entertainment. The boys made their debut with their single Echo in 2017. The group had a small fan base prior to their debut, for two of their members participating and ranking high in the survival show called Mix 9. It was later announced that 7 O'Clock would be managed under Forest Network. There were also rumors that Star Entertainment had run into financial difficulties and can no longer afford to manage their group, let alone give them a proper comeback. 
Within just days of the boys switching companies, an announcement was made informing fans that 7 o'clock would be having a comeback. They eventually released not one, but two MVs. Months after their first comeback, Force added a new member. The group released their second comeback with their single Getaway in 2019. After the Getaway promotions, this is the point in time where the lineup changes and multiple member statuses began to blur. Force Network announced that current members Hyun, Il Sol, and Jungkyu would enter an indefinite hiatus due to their health conditions. According to Forrest, the three members came to the decision to focus on their health and recover after some decision with their agency. Unfortunately, members Hyun and Jungkyo would never return to promotions. The group continued to promote for a few more months doing concerts and events and regularly posting on social media. On March 2nd, 2021, Force announced through their fan cafe that 7 o'clock had disbanded and the company is in discussion regarding the future individual activities. And before I end this video, I'm happy to share that A Day, former member of 7 o'clock, Jaehyun from Spectrum, Zen and Jaehyun from One Team, as well as other members from disbanded boy groups, are now under the group Omega X. So if you want to continue to support the boys, I highly recommend you check them out, and they will be debuting May of 2021. One and B, short for One New Best and One and Beautiful, was a five-member girl group under a rather small company called Trevis Entertainment. Originally, One and B were preparing to debut as a group under the name One Nal B. This was an acronym for the anime series such as One Piece, Naruto, and Bleach. Their producer also wanted the members' stage names to be Vivi, Nami, and Robin, female characters in the series One Piece. You could say the producer was a bit of an otaku, but nonetheless, the group did debut under the name 1NB. During pre-debut, the girls released their single Stalker in February of 2017. This video is on the eerie and horror side of K-pop, and the music video itself warps you into the storyline it makes you think you're watching a horror movie instead of a regular music video. In this almost 9 minute long music video, we are thrown into the horror murder mystery and the actual song doesn't start till more than halfway into the video. It is a must see if you love dark concepts in K-pop. In November of 2017, the girls finally made their debut with their song Where You At. The song and visuals don't feel up to par with their pre-debut song Stalker but it did hold up on their dark concept and image the group was going for. And just a heads up for anyone who wants to watch the music videos, there are some gore scenes and it gets especially graphic towards the end of Where You At. On April 18, 2018, two of the members went on BeLive and explained the future of 1NB. They said they just heard a few days ago that the company would be making the girls do solo activities rather than group activities. They are still under the company so not to worry, but this was in fact a disbandment. The group officially disbanded on April 27, 2018. It's sad to see that many of these groups that were under small companies were heavily affected by the pandemic. Groups such as these rely heavily on busking, events, and festivals to gain more exposure and get them by. But because they were unable to perform, they were forced to disband due to their company's financial situation. Do you believe that any one of these groups had the potential to become a bigger and successful group if it weren't for their abrupt disbandment? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, thank you for watching and enjoy your stay.